Right then, welcome back. Um, today, we're not going to be riding that Norton. That's something I've been mucking about on <clears throat> doing other things. Uh, today, we are going to start the British Endurance 1000 Pro Championship. Uh, four endurance races. Uh, Brands Hatch, Alton Park, Snetterton and Donington. Um, and there is quite a lot of choice. We've got two bikes in the garage we've got the 2021 aprilia rsv4 which is very nice and we've got an 07 gsxr but there is also available a vast swathe of bikes there's two bmws one of them which is an m1000 double r which will be rapid there's a panagali 2022 blade 21 ninja 2020 suzuki which is locked which we're gonna to have to window something else a brace of r1s 14 19 and 20. so i don't need to go and buy a bike so i think we'll go with the aprilia um look how trick that is under brace swing arm absolutely mega cnc footrest hangers and oh my god it's an absolute work of art but yeah i think it's got wings as well Wings, mad aren't they? Bikes with wings. I never thought I'd see the day. Sound like a grumpy old man. Uh, but we're going to go with that, the Aprilia. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Welcome to Brands Hatch. Now. We haven't qualified. I've skipped qualifying. Well, I say skipped it. I've fast forwarded it and let it do its thing. And we've gone nowhere near it. Um, so we're starting from the back. It was raining anyway, so we weren't exactly going to find a massive amount out by doing qualifying. Um, we'll stick a setup in it. Eight, eight, four, six, three. That needs to be four, two for that, three for that, two for that. We certainly, oh, we certainly don't need to be doing 208 miles an hour. We're at Brands Hatch Indy, which is going to be interesting. Electronics, I'll do without traction for now. And we'll only on one engine braking for right. That should do. I mean, we're going to go and do a time attack anyway. Right, tyres. I'm planning to go absolutely flat out. So um, I'll do a hard front, soft rear, just because some of the corners are really really naughty aren't they paddicle bends naughty then you've got the little hairpin then you've got the downhill left hander then you've got the really long right hander so i think a hard front will probably do it more good uh, than not we'll see how that lasts i'll go full fuel and the plan is just to go flat out for 20 minutes we'll have a single stop um weather permitting because oh what's she on she's on the s thousand not the m right okay and we are 18, 18 seconds. Oh, that's fast. That's very quick. Oh, no, that's going to be up. That has to be an accident. There you go. You say we are 18 seconds behind the leader. Now we're even more. We're 20th again. What? Oh, my God. Try and run that tight line into there. Just about. On the, on the curve. Come on, don't fall off. Oh, my God. So an S1000 for Eleanor. I take it she's going to be the target then. Well, in theory, because sometimes it doesn't work out like that, do they? Sometimes they're absolutely scrap. And we've got a dodgy AI start where it'll either crash it or someone will ride through the side of us or... Oh, my God. God, I'll tell you something. The autopilot does not stay engaged for very long there. Come on, come on, do not touch, do not, do not. No, no pumping up the rear. Ooh, Vanagali. Got away with that then. Thought that was going to be a definite penalty. a lunge. Oh, that is a filthy lunge. We'll have to remember that. That line through the last corner. Now, 
Now we have got a click, one click attraction on because the bike on the first attempt. We got about 14 minutes in and the bike just went mental. I say it went mental, I just kept missing breaking points and planted it into the barriers, so. The pit stop was a joke as well. It absolutely robbed us. Went to the pits in 14th and we came out 20th, nine seconds behind 19th. I don't know how long it thought we needed to be in the pits for, but it was absolutely daft. Don't get on that curve, but we're up to fourth. I'll take that. Definitely had the pace to go with the leaders. We just got stuck battling. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure on the front. Yeah, we just got stuck absolutely battling riders that we didn't need to be battling, really. That's my time saver in there, that tight line. Ooh, that engine braking. It's almost like half a click too strong. If I could just turn it down, like half a click. I mean, four levels, is, I think, is too much, but if I needed eight, if I had eight, sorry, I could turn it down just one click. Oh, that is a filthy move. They leave the door open every time as well. Our bike's not great through there though. Wide, fast line through Paddock Hill. Up to Druids. Hateful, horrible corner. If ever there was a front end circuit, Brands Indy. Can't have any understeer. It's awful if a bike understeers. Final corner in second. If we get there again. Oh, that was hot into there. Crikey. Just let the break off then. Just thought she was going to have a little nibble at my back tyre. No penalty for running wide out of there. Right, let's try this in second, see what happens. Whoa. It's actually a little... Oh, that's quick. That is really quick. It's no wonder we're using that rear tyre up fast. It's sideways everywhere. Really sideways. Should have gone for a medium, really. And then there were two out front. Alex Massetti. He's always there or thereabouts. Ooh, that's warm. Sorry, mate. Now you just welded yourself to the side of my bike. Spin through there. There he comes, lunging. Can we get away? I don't think we can. I think I'm pretty much on my limit. Forty five percent fuel, fourteen minutes left. 
need to work out what my lap lap fuel usage is. What we're on now, 41. Let's see what we use each lap then. Deep in there. I apologise. I'm just looking at this fuel fuel level, trying to work out what we're using. Seven, seven percent a lap. So to do ten laps, we should have now be more. Oh, hello! Where did that come from? Hello! Look at them all streaming past. That was a bit naughty. Didn't really do anything different. I'm trying to do the maths for the fuel, and the bike's spitting us off. That sounds R1-ish. Look at that grunt out of there. You know what, you've got to give them credit, the bike positioning is absolutely fantastic. The perfect place to stop you driving forward. Used, we've used quite a lot more fuel than we did on the first attempt. But we're down to now 17. We're using a bit less front tyre, a bit more rear. Ooh, the front's not happy through there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to go to a medium rear. It's absolutely misbehaving now. I also think we needed all the fuel we put in. Yeah, thanks, low fuel, well aware of that. So what we did one click down on the damper and it's completely changed the fuel usage. Right. We need a hard front, medium rear, five percent left, nine minutes. Jeez, we're gonna have to go pretty much full fuel, aren't we? Or at least as close to full fuel as I can. I mean, 90 what? 95? It's good how that feels going in. It's not even touching the bike. I'll do 20th again, look. Look how long we've been in that pit. We're miles behind. All them we pitted in front of. Same disease as Gran Turismo. 
I mean, they're on the same fuel levels as me, 90 odd, so... Unless they just use less fuel... But, they were quick, so I don't know how they are using less fuel. Mate, what are you doing? Come on. And then you have a lunge, well done. Nope, nope, that corner's mine, mate. Come on. No! This game. Oh, it's just ridiculously hard. There we go, look, park it right in front of me. Everywhere I want to go, he's going to go. Bike's getting a pump on as well. This is what it did in the first go. The only thing that might salvage this result is if they all panic and go in for a second stop. Which they don't need to do, obviously. Mike's not happy. Kicking and bucking. Look at this absolute train of pain that's in front of us right now. Oh my god, it's going to be a nightmare working through this. Look at all these riders. Not the line I wanted to be on, but hey, really have much choice. Don't you dare. How hard was it trying to kick us off then? Oh, here we go, all the way to the back of the queue. Excellent. Because you're all just going to fight and block and do everything you can. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Sandwiched. That is a naughty lie. We're playing with absolute fire doing that. Just the littlest touch there. Oh, don't get off. Wow. That was unnecessarily close. Don't you dare. Just that little lunge towards my back wheel. Enough to panic me. Get me to let the brake off. So, oh no, 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 that's naughty. Can't keep doing that. Here we go again. That gear change in the middle of that corner. Just upsetting the bike. We're still on through this group of death. It's hateful. Now I'm too deep in there. Come on. minutes left oh my god we're so deep in there oh my lord look at that no just 
just knock the engine braking down to three to see if it just settles this bike a little bit. It's just kicking a bit too sideways. Don't you twat! Look at that. Can you believe that? That was 100% our corner. Passed easily, easily in that rider's line of sight. What do we do? Get knocked off. For nothing. So now I've got two laps. You better all get in the pits. There we are, understeer city again. Just knocked off for nothing. It is the only thing genuinely that winds me up about the game is that little touch. And they shouldn't really be doing it, but... I mean, I get that sometimes it's elbows out and you're banging fairings and whatever, but... Almost every time... that you go past them... there's a little lunge from there or something... into or through the corner... and they touch you and you just go down straight away. You can drive into the side of them at a hell of a pace, like that, and they're just not bothered. Tastes something's going to be hard to come back, innit? to here, eighth at the most, oh that's fast, that's way too fast look at the grip round the outside they find so much pace and grip on weird lines Oh no, that's going to be wide, come on. Won't come back, it won't come back. Well, it's going to be this lap, and probably one more. And that's going to be a lot. Up to ninth. Do you know what? We aren't going to make it. Look how much fuel we've got. Yeah, well, you've just said low on fuel. We aren't going to make it now. Because we've got another lap to go, yeah. We're going to run out of fuel. One hundred percent we're gonna run out of fuel. I can't even see the figure. It's such a difficult colour. It's gonna do us right at the very end of it. That's it, it's gone now, it's gone. It's out, it's out of fuel, it's got nothing. I've got nothing. That's it, I'm out. I'm out of fuel. Tenth, eleventh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Twelfth, thirteenth. I'm pretty sure we weren't thirteenth across the line, but okay. And we've just been wiped out. Oh my god, that 
That was absolutely ridiculous. Well, there you go. Thirsty, thirsty work. That Aprilia just drinks fuel. What did we score? We scored a massive seven points. Only 33 behind the leader. Look at Eleanor as well. Smashed it. Aprilia, 8th. 12th, 13th. Yeah, a bit thirsty. But hey, lesson learned for next time. Now, I didn't make a note of what lap time we did. Um, what have we got? I'll set... I'll set 30th, 46.1. I just can't... I can't remember and... Well, I can't exactly quit this and download it and transfer it and do bits and bobs. So we set 30 of the 46.1. We will make a couple of changes to the bike. It was getting a bit of a pump on and so on and so forth. So we'll see what we can do. Set up then. So knocking the spring hardness down helps. But now it's getting a bit... A bit of a bouncing on the back end, isn't it? Um, not only that, I want like a click extra slipper clutch leave that on there that's done engine braking on three yes that's what we want tires we'll do hard front soft rear because that works let's go Now she's in like minimum fuel configuration, max power. Max power to weight. So we're into the 45s. How much quicker does she want to go? I don't know. down to a 44.9. Ooh, we lost a load of time in that last sector. Too narrow an exit. We'll go again, shall we? We get the first bit right, second bit wrong. Get the first bit wrong, whole lap wrong. I'm going to leave it there. 44.8. Done. At 44.8. That. That is a lot of laps, isn't it? 12. 44.3. Look at the best lap. 44.3. Wow. I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back on that bike. The M1000 will smash it. Right, quick look. Fifth. Hmm. 44 zero. Okay, not as bad as I thought then. Not as bad as I thought. The Aprilia just doesn't feel the nicest bike to use around there. If I'm being honest. Yeah, Patagalia. Patagalia, M1000, M1000. That's not bad. On 08. 2008 vintage bikes. Yeah. Oh well. Right, this one's done. Next time, we're either going to be at Interlagos on 1000cc sports bikes, just road bikes, or we're going to be at Snetterton because I didn't realise it was a championship, so it might not let me do other things while the championship's running, if that makes sense. But either way, it 
is going to be another 1,000cc race. So thank you very much for watching. That was a comment, like, and share, and subscribing. All the usual jazz. Fingers crossed. I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe. Peace.